Now, we've been uh, doing this, you know, together for, what, 10, 11 years now? Yeah. Yes, and I can't believe we've never, ever had a chance to interview this lady. You know, this is the first time. She's, it is. She's the first actually time she's here in the uh, studio. been on our show. I want to say hello to Jeanette. Oh, good morning, Jeanette. Good morning. Hi, oh, hang everyone. on. Wrong mic. Wrong mic. Say uh, that again. Thanks for having me. No, oh, it's, <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see a pretty face in the morning. <laughs> Better than my re- usual view of, of you. you Absolutely. Know? Hey, uh, thanks for, for coming by. We know you're very, 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 very busy. Uh, Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm really glad to be here. And, uh, mm. you know, first time we, we get to, to ever speak to you on the radio. Um, you have just released a book. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about this this book that you did. Uh, actually, this is my second book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first one was Definitions. It's really more my random musings and sharing part of myself. Yep. Uh, this one is more about my creations. Um, it's based on my illustrations, my drawings, and there's a short story that accompanies it. Now, who would have thought that Jeanette being, you know, the person she is, you know, uh, actress is extraordinary and all that... Uh, would be an artist. I know. You know yeah, yeah. It was so surprising when I when I first heard about this uh, new book, and then I I, I thought it was a, a written book. Uh, I thought it was a story or something like. that. But then I heard it was an illustration book. That's and, right. And all these beautiful drawings that that you've done, all hand drawn, by the way. Yes, all hand drawn. No, Nothing done with fan- art software. That's wow. Amazing. Yeah. The book is called Saul's World: Somebody to Love. It's about a character called Saul, yeah. uh, which is okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please don't be insulted. Is uh, is a girl who looks like an eyeball. <laughs> eyeball? <laughs> is, is that the way to say no? It's, it's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, yeah. she's a girl. Um, actually, I've been drawing this girl for, for quite a while now wow. since I started a column. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when I decided to come up with a book, I gave her a makeover. I gave her a name and a personality. Wow. And I changed her hair to red and I gave her a name, Sol. Yeah. So, so this is a girl. She's got really big eyes, big lashes, mm-hmm. uh, something I like, big hair. Right. <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah, so uh, it's all in, in all, it's, it's part of her character. She's very um, sunshiny. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's always going on searches for answers. She's on very adventurous. Of sorts. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I'm flipping through the book. You know, there's, the, the, the illustrations are beautiful. <laughs> You've got a, a story that follows every single page. This is pretty incredible. My question to you is, Jeanette Ao, where do you find the time to do this? Yeah, man. You uh, are, you, you, we, we know you. We see you on TV practically every day. Mm-hmm. You're a director as well. You, uh, you know, you, I know you write a lot of stuff at the same time. Yeah. Where do you find time to do this? Um, well, I just like squeeze in whatever <laughs> I have. You know, like um, late at night or like in between filming. Because when I'm filming, it's every day. Yeah. And sometimes it's really long hours, like morning mm-hmm. till night. Uh, and actually for a drama, they actually asked me to draw for that character as well. Oh. oh. Yeah, for World at Your Feet. Because mm-hmm. the production team knew that I could draw. So they asked me, why don't we put that in your character? Oh. So so my book had to be put aside as well so that I had I had to like create new canvases and sketchbooks for the character. Yep. So after I finished that drama then I could continue on my book. Right. So basically whatever time I have even when I'm traveling I bring my art materials overseas. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Which which is why she is, you know, nice and fit and trim and we we are this size. Exactly. Like, exactly. Whenever we go free time we sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. She has free time, she draws and does other stuff. End know? to end, how long did this book take to put together? Uh I guess about a year. Wow. Yeah. That's a that's that's a project of love, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I'm flipping through every page, right? I, I feel I, I hope I, I'm not offending you, but I feel like, you know, just plucking out the pages and, and framing it up. It, it's it so like, nice, right? Yeah, yeah. such nice every, paintings. Every, every, every page looks like an art piece you would find on, on someone's wall. Yeah. You know, so if, if I were to do, like, prints, like, prints for sales, would you buy it? Of course, <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, yeah. These are beautiful. You, you should do, do prints, and, and I, I would definitely Look buy at the them. entrepreneurial spirit of <laughs> yeah, this girl. Not bad, right? She's already thinking of her next business already. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Uh, Jeanette, thanks for joining us. We'll come back in just a moment, and we'll also want to have a quick chat with you about uh, about something that happened a couple of weeks ago. First of all, the, the, uh, I hope I'm saying this right. Yeah. Uh, all time favorite celebrity mm-hmm. at the start. Is yes. that the name of the title? Yeah. All time favorite. All time favorite. Yeah. I remember uh, Zoe at because I was at the Star Wars last year. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you uh, snuck in, but yeah. <laughs> I remember Zoe last year saying "Ni You know, and ten. Yeah. 
po- most popular award trophies leading to this year's all-time favorite award. Fantastic. Incredible. We'll talk about that coming up in just a while. It's uh, Justin and Vernon, Muttons in the Morning. Jeanette Ao is in the house. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jeanette. By the way, still the most uh, cheerful and sunshiny person in the studio. She's more <laughs> awake than we are. I know. Uh, <laughs> we do this every day. It's so. incredible. Uh, Jeanette, you have a book out. It's called Saul's World, Somebody to Love. Uh, by the way, you can see uh, the cover of the book on our Facebook page, mm-hmm. fb.com slash Muttons in the Morning. Where can people buy this book? All major bookstores, Kinokuniya, Popular, Times, and PH. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very it, nice. And the book came out like a, a week ago or two, right? Uh, it came out on the 9th. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. on the 9th of May. And yes. I, I believe you have a signing session coming up very soon? On the 23rd. Oh, nice. Uh, Where? Uh, at Kinokuniya Nian City at 2 p.m. Perfect. Oh. It yes. is going Very to be nice. packed at Nian City. Absolutely. On uh, on May 23rd. So, Geniuses, that's the name of your family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. There's a reason I know it. We'll, we'll get into that in a moment. Okay. Um, uh, geniuses, make sure you make your way down. Okay, Jeanette, we're going to ask you about mm. uh, what happened a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Yes. Star Awards. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. On uh, the all-time favorite award. I mean, what, what does it mean to you? You are joining a very, very, very elite club. I believe uh, Chen Hanwe is in the club. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian Wong's in the club as well. Yeah. You know, for ten, Vivian won this year as well, right? Yes, yeah? together the, with me. The, the ten for for ten most popular artists. What does that mean to you? Well, I guess it's really an award that you know requires over like ten years of top ten to actually get yeah. there, yeah. and it's not that easy because you really need all these people to actually like support you, and it's all your supporters that really matter, and of course, you. you know, I mean, you put in. You put in hard work, but mm. at the end of the day, if you don't have people who actually vote for you or call in for you, then you don't get the reward. Exactly, yeah. You know, every yeah. year... He knows exactly how that feels. Because oh. last year, he was uh, nominated. Oh, yeah. For, 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 and, and there must have been some, you know... D- Technical error because why he was nominated, no one understands till now. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, he he didn't get any votes. But, yeah. Well, besides mine and a couple yeah, of other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yeah, my, mom, mom, my mom voted yeah, a few yeah, times, right. but, but I didn't get into the top ten. So, which is what I was trying to say, right? I mean, for Jeanette to have won ten. Mm. You know, every year I see uh, actors and actresses, yeah. you know, win it for the first time. And it's like the best moment of their lives. I thought I would get it last year, but you know. It was, <laughs> right? I, you know, it looks like the most incredible moment of their lives. But you've won 10. And now you're in this elite Hall of Fame club. It's it's quite an incredible achievement for someone still so young, Jeanette. It's, uh, it's, you know. Yeah, I suppose so. I've been very lucky. It's been a uh, good 15 years, actually. I've yep. been in showbiz for 15 years um well of course i'm like thankful for everything that ha- that's happened you mm-hmm. know the dramas that i have and the people who support me um yeah i i can't explain it as well <laughs> hey, but yeah you know, but this year was like you know when i got the all-time favorite it's like it's such a glamorous award right so yes. it's a high prestige and all that and i had epic fall i know i know <laughs> I was like, what a way to get the award! Well, we, we, we were getting to that now. I know, I know. I mean, I know. We, we, didn't wanna, we didn't really want to bring it up. Well, actually, we did, but yeah, we did, we did. Yeah. No, it is Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. And you know the your, your fall winter collection was very good. <laughs> what, 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 what? what a terrible joke! <laughs> no, what what went through your mind? We really want to know this. What went through your mind the moment you hit the floor? And and the, and the great thing is you saw like ten people rush from their seats like, oh my god! <laughs> you know? I know. What was going through your mind at that very moment? Um, prior to this, we didn't have any rehearsals at all, oh. so we didn't know how the stage would revolve and all that. <laughs> And the flooring was actually quite slippery. All I knew was that I made sure that the stage actually stopped before I stepped down. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was just too fast. Right. Mm. I couldn't even react. And I mean, when I, was, when I was walking down the steps, I knew I was smiling. And then when I fell, <laughs> and after that, you know, I saw photos, I was still smiling. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I think it just happened too fast for me to yeah. actually have a reaction. Oh my <laughs> yeah, and when I fell, I just remember going down the steps on my bum. Oh, and dear. then like I landed on my knees and um, 
I, it was so painful. Oh, uh, no. All I could think was, okay, I better get up oh, now. No. Yeah, I'm just glad that I didn't land on my spine or flat on my face That's and true. I didn't sprain my ankle. That's true. Yeah, and I'm so glad that so many people <laughs> came to help me. I know. And, and, and look, at the end of the day, it was it was an iconic moment of this Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Like, you know, I, I even saw a post uh, post interview where you were, show, where you were showing your all tan. Oh, yeah. It looked, it looked it, bad. So it was bad. Doesn't hurt anymore? Uh, no, I've recovered. That's uh, good. I've got three big patches, one on my knee. One on oh. my thigh, and the one on my bum is like the, the size of my palm. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so are you a naturally clumsy person? Or, or? No, I'm a dancer. <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> see, she's, yeah. she's a dance trainer. It's that stupid <laughs> stage. Uh. Yeah. So, actually, that was that was my next question. I'm gonna beat the stage. Uh. So so who, who who do you blame in all of this? The, the dress, because you know dress can be. It was a beautiful dress. The dress, yeah. the shoes, or the stage. <laughs> uh, Definitely not the dress okay. because it's it's been yeah the length is fine and all that. Right, right. Uh, actually, I don't know what happened. Maybe the stage was too too slippery, mm-hmm. and I don't know. Maybe it's like the all time favorite jitters. You know, it's like oh, I'm right. getting my award, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Whoa. she's so sweet. She doesn't want to blame even the stage. <laughs> Let's... An inanimate object that that has no feelings. She still doesn't want to. Let's just say you you took it with class. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. And you're here on Class 95. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, Jeanette, we hope you're not in too much hurry. One more thing we would like uh, from you today before we let you go. Um, something involving producer Kim, uh, who is sitting right here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, and we want your reaction to that. Okay. Uh, coming up in about five minutes' time. All right. Okay. You'll be very angry about this. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm glad we got the. Uh, awkward... She's like doesn't get angry you anything. I'm, I'm so glad yeah. we got. I'm glad we got the awkward part of the fall out of the way. Right. Because right. you could be fuming very very soon. Oh. Stick around. It's coming up next. Emma. Plus ninety five. Jeanette, I was in the studio, and before we we let you go, Jeanette, uh, you, first of all, you want to tell us about a an exhibition that's happening at a national museum that you're doing. Yes. Um. Every year, national museum has got this children's season, and this year they're working with a couple of artists, and I'm one of them. Wow. So they gave me the salon to work with and I'm I'm actually collaborating with two other artists mm-hmm. so they will they, they actually extracted a couple of pictures from my book and they interpreted it in that way so there's going to be installations there's going to be puppetry and um, my own wall I've got two walls which uh, will have two new drawings uh, it's going to be quite interactive because one wall is like white and, uh, white and black line drawings so mm-hmm. people can like go in and fill in colours yeah. Oh. yeah and the other one is an etching wall so it's actually a, a, a fully coloured wall but it's going to be blackened so you can draw whatever you want and scratch off the black paint wow, wow yeah so, so cool. basically it's really for everyone to come in and right. have fun and this whole salon is going to be called the uh, Soul's Journey Soul's, Soul's Journey. Journey there you yeah. go the character from your book yes our National Museum starting from the 30th of May all uh, the way to 10th August 10th August again yes. I ask the question where do you find time to do all yeah, this exactly. <laughs> anyway, incredible uh, thank you Jeanette for being here the thing is I think she has a clone we, <laughs> there, there's actually a few of them yeah, you know, <laughs> that's how she can do so many things time, <laughs> um, amazing I, I'm sorry to we have to make you angry this morning but uh, uh, here's, here's something we have to, to we have to share with you producer Kim is in the house hey producer Kim H- hello hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello. Um, let, let me see how I can explain this about Two, no, don't need to explain. <laughs> <laughs> About two or three weeks ago, mm-hmm. uh, this was the day after the Star Awards, we had this segment we call Facebook Face Off on the, this show, where producer Kim gives us the name of two celebrities, and we, Jordan and Justin, guess um, which celebrity has more Facebook fans. Okay. okay. So she decided to pit Jeanette out against Rebecca Lim. Okay. Right. Okay. And uh, just very quickly, this is what happened uh, in that segment. Oh, no. So, so, so Jeanette has less Facebook fans than... Give us the number. Give us the I'll num- give you the number. So, okay. Jeanette Au, 12,000 fans of Facebook. All right. Not a small number for Singapore celebrities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebecca Lim almost double 22K. <gasps> wow. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> after that, after that... 
tons of complaints oh, no. came out. Oh, boy. They are like, oh my God, fire this girl! Yeah. How could she make such a mistake? <laughs> Jeanette Ow doesn't have 12,000 Facebook fans. No, 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 no. Jeanette Ow has got 1 million Facebook fans. Right. Right. Where he, did you get that from? Because you have so many fans that there are more than one Facebook fan account. Well, Mine's verified. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah one. No, I think primarily we did some investigation and she, yeah. she got the number from the genius page. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no wonder you were saying you knew uh, about Genius. Exactly, exactly. So, Jeanette Ow, yes. face to face with uh, the person who, who wronged her <laughs> of her Facebook feeds. Yeah. Um, Jeanette, you, are, you get to decide uh, producer Kim's future. Does she get to keep her job or not? <laughs> Promotion. Promotion. <laughs> Gonna drum roll, drum roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll promote my book. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so 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 she, she gets to keep her job? Yeah. Yeah, she gets to keep oh, her job. Oh, oh, it's the best day of my life. <laughs> Yeah. No more complaints, Jeanette Al is okay. <laughs> yes. So please, uh, you know, Jeanette, Jeanette's fans, please stop lambasting for you, Kim. Yeah, Jeanette, stop spitting at her when you see her on the street. Yeah. And, you know, Jeanette says it's okay. Jeanette has yeah. officially forgiven for you, Kim. Now it's my turn to go to that stupid Star Wars stage and spit at her. Yeah. <laughs> ah, some closure on this uh, Thursday. Jeanette, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you being here and sharing your book with us. Thanks for signing our book as well. Yeah, oh, hope you like really it. Really very sweet. We'll uh, definitely I love it. something we will cherish. Uh, remember, if you want to catch Jeanette uh, with the book and, of course, uh, for an autograph signing as well, it's happening at Neon City, uh, Kinokuniya on... 23rd May, 2pm. 23rd nice. May at 2pm.